next we have Professor Louis Diet, and he is going to talk about the truth about mathematics. Okay. Yes, clapping makes me nervous. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, so imagine that we have a chessboard, and we also have a bunch of dominoes. Each one is just the right size to cover up two squares on the board. And I want to know, with 32 of those dominoes, could you arrange them to cover all 64 squares on the chessboard? Well, if you're systematic about how you place them, it's not hard to discover that the answer is yes, it is possible. Now here's a more interesting question. Suppose I take the same chessboard and I remove the bottom right and the upper left squares. Now I want to know with 31 of the same dominoes, is it possible to arrange them to cover the 62 squares of this now mutilated chessboard? <laughs> well, you might have to be a little bit more careful about how you place them, and you can try that, and perhaps in the end you'll discover that you failed. Well, <laughs> Well, perhaps you just need to be a little more clever about how you place the dominoes. That's possible. So you could have a try at that. And perhaps in the end, you'll discover that, again, you failed. <laughs> in fact, you might try dozens more or hundreds more arrangements and discover that in every single case, you fail. And at that point, you have a great deal of evidence and experience to suggest very strongly that, in fact, it's impossible. But there's an opportunity here for mathematical truth. Uh, which does not rely on experience or evidence, which might change, but only on logic, which doesn't. For observe here, the squares we removed were both white, and therefore this mutilated chessboard has still 32 black squares, but now only 30 white ones. And moreover, each domino must cover two adjacent squares on the board, and hence one black square and one white square. And therefore, any arrangement of dominoes must cover an equal number of black squares as white, and therefore, no arrangement of 31 dominoes can cover 32 black squares while covering only 30 white squares. And now you know that it's impossible. <laughs> when I was a junior math major, I, I took this course in Galois theory. And I remember one day the professor stopped in class and said to us, you know what, I believe that this theorem is true more than I believe that any of you are really sitting here right now. <laughs> and we all laughed, but by then we understood exactly what she meant because it's that kind of truth that makes mathematics so irresistible. Thank you.